Hi friends, Professor Joe here. I hope you all are doing great. I have over 10 years of experience in trading, especially in the Forex markets. I have done a lot of mistakes and I have learned from them. All these videos that I am creating is out of my own experience and learnings from the markets. In this video, we are going to learn something special. So let us see what we are going to learn new in this video. In this video, we are going to understand the most important bullish candlestick pattern. Now, there are many, many bullish candlestick patterns like you can see on the screen. There is hammer, there is bullish engulfing pattern, there is piercing pattern, there is morning star, there is inverted hammer and there is dragonfly doji. So there are so many candlestick patterns that are used by traders in intraday and long term trading, swing trading to enter into trades. But in this video, we are going to specifically cover two candlestick patterns. So let us see those patterns one by one. The first one is a bullish hammer and the second one is a bullish engulfing pattern. Now there are two ways of entering into a trade. One is called as a pullback strategy and the second is called as a breakout strategy. Now we will look at both. Especially when you are trading the candlestick patterns, for a bullish candlestick pattern, it will normally be at a breakout of a previous resistance or the continuation would be not the breakout of the top, but the pullback at a moving average. So these are the two areas where we will be looking for a good candlestick pattern. Let us understand how a hammer looks like. As you can see on the screen, this is how a hammer candlestick pattern looks like. You can see that the body of the candle is very, very small and it is on the top side of the candle. The tail is almost three, four, maybe five times longer than its body and it is on the bottom side of the body. And on the top side of the body, you will either not see a tail or a shadow or a wick or a very, very small one. This clearly indicates that the bears initially tried to pull the market down, but then the bulls from that particular area pushed the market up and they were pretty bullish at the closure of this candle. This gives a clear understanding that after this candle, there are more chances that the price will continue in the upward direction. Now to add on to this, we will identify these candles only in two specific areas. Number one is a pullback. That is, we are looking for a previous break of a resistance area. And number two is a pullback till a very, very small moving average like a 10 EMA or a 20 EMA not beyond that. So let us see two examples where we can identify a good hammer to take a trade in the upward direction, in the bullish direction. Like you can see in this example that the previous resistance was broken by the price. The price went up and then came back again to retest. Now this time the resistance has been converted into a support. At this support zone, you will see that a wonderful hammer candlestick pattern has been created. This is a confluence because at that particular zone, the resistance was broken, a new support has been created and a wonderful bullish hammer candle has been created. This is a perfect entry point for a buy. This is called as a pullback pattern where you're going to look for a hammer candlestick. Let us look how we can use a hammer candlestick on a moving average. As you can see on this particular chart, 
that the price actually went up. There is a crossover of the moving average. And then the price came back till 10 EMA. The blue line is a 10 EMA. And on the 10 EMA, a wonderful bullish hammer candle is created. This is another wonderful entry point when you are using a bullish hammer candlestick pattern. So these are two very, very useful zones or areas where you can identify a bullish hammer candlestick and enter into a trade. Now let us look at the second type of candlestick, which is very, very useful when you want to enter a buy trade. This candlestick is called the bullish engulfing candle. Like you can see, there is a previous downtrend or a small downtrend and then a big green candle has been created. Now this green candle will be bigger than the previous couple of bearish candles or at least it should be bigger than the last bearish candle. But if it is bigger than the previous two, three bearish candles, it is a clear indication that the bulls have taken control and now from this particular area, they are pushing the price up. A bullish engulfing candlestick pattern can be identified or useful at two major locations. Which are those two locations on the chart? Let us see. The first one is at a breakout of a resistance zone and when it then becomes a support zone. You can see on this chart, that how the price broke the previous resistance, went up, retraced back and made a new support area at the previous resistance. And in that zone, when you get a bullish engulfing candle, it's a wonderful entry point to enter a trade. So this is the first way how you are going to identify a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern. The second area to identify a bullish engulfing candlestick is a moving average. So let us see how it looks over there. Like you can see on this chart that on the 10 EMA, the price retraced back and there a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern has been created. So you can identify a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern one at a support zone and second on an EMA. And the EMA again, when you're doing intraday trading or short term trading, it should be a 10 EMA or a 20 EMA, not the 200 EMA or maybe bigger EMAs. Look for shorter EMAs. This way you will make sure that the price quickly moves in your direction. So these are two important candlestick pattern that you should use in your intraday trading and swing trading to become successful. So I hope this video has made it clear that when you are entering into a buy trade, which are the two most important candlestick patterns that you have to look into. One is the bullish hammer candle. Second is the bullish engulfing candle. We also discussed the features, how the candle looks like. And we also discussed where you have to look for these candles. Now, these candles will be created all over the charts. But what is more important is to identify it in specific areas like a support zone or on an MA. That is very, very important. Finally, the more you practice and the more efforts you put into your trading, that will help you to become a more successful trader. Now, everybody, I have written a book especially for intraday trading and swing trading. This book is called as Traders You Can Win, but first learn to lose. In this book, I have discussed about multiple different candlestick patterns. If you are a new trader or if you are learning trading or if you are getting confused in trading, kindly read this book. It is available online in Amazon Kindle. If you love the content that I am creating, please like and share so that like you, people who are trying to learn trading or people who are confused in trading will get a direction in how to do trading the right way. To get more updates 
on such videos on trading, technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and even investments. Kindly subscribe to my channel because I will continuously be creating more and more videos on finance. And finally, all I can say is keep learning, keep growing. Thank you. Namaskar.